So Pirates by Digital Playground was like the biggest movie at the time. I remember going to the premiere, actually. Really? And it was a huge deal. Yeah. Tell me, besides yourself, like who else starred in it, what your role was, maybe a little bit about pre-production, sure. the whole thing. Because it was actually shot like on a pirate ship, right? Like yeah. a stage pirate ship? In Tampa. Or yeah. in a in a in a bay in a, in a port this I, I want to say Black Pearl ship it looked like a pirate ship I guess I heard that it, it was, was the legit, same ship yeah. that was used so in Pirates was. of the Caribbean but I don't know if that's true I believe yes and Mark uh, Mark Bra Bones uh, who, who who you know finagled all that and worked that all out and did that those things <clears throat> the movie was actually a, it was a two two companies had come together. Adam and Eve and Digital Playground. Mm. So collectively, they put all their contract stars in it. And Janine, at this point, had come out of the retirement, so they put her in. Uh, so uh, Digital Playground, Digital Playground, put her in Janine. So it was Janine, Jesse Jane, Carmen Levana, Riley Steele. You name it, the big stars were all on it. Mm -hmm. Same as the guys, and it was a big, big uh, co-production between these two companies. So we shot all this, the the deck action at, with the boat. You know, the exterior stuff, no, none of that stuff. And I think what happened was they told the the people who, you know, were the, the you know, the, who took care of the boat and whatnot. Yeah, we're shooting a some sort of a. Yeah, I heard there was drama about it. Educational something or other. Oh, the, an educational. Yeah, it was like a, a. So they lied about what the yeah because I heard that the yeah. owners found out yeah, that it yeah. was a movie and like freaked they freaked. out. But by then we got all we needed and and, and so. So we did that, and then we end up come back to California, and there is where we shot the the, the interiors of the cabin and where the sex would take place and mm -hmm. whatnot. And so what I meant, what I was going to say was that movie really put me on the map. I I got cast as the lead bad guy mm -hmm. opposite of Evan Stone, which is another like Al Pacino. Yeah. In the you business. were Stagnetti, right? Yeah, yeah, I was Stagnetti, right? It was so, Pirate Stagnetti's mm -hmm. Revenge. The first one was Pirates. Second one was second Stagnetti. was Stagnetti's gotcha. Revenge. Okay. Pirate Stagnetti's Revenge. So the first one was great, and there I was teamed up to sh to have a shoot and work with Janine, which is crazy because back ten years prior she was dancing with Julia Ann doing a, 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 an act called Blondage. You remember that? Oh, I definitely remember Blondage. Yeah. yeah. So I went to the dollhouse okay. in in Pompano Beach mm -hmm. to see him dance. My friend was a DJ. I went and watched him from the crowd dancing. This was before I was even in the business. Prior, prior to, mm -hmm. you know, I was living in Florida, and I was working at a bikini shop too, making bikinis. Mm -hmm. So I see, uh, I see. Uh, anyway, I see the two of them. They perform. I end up making the bikinis and give it to them. Jump ahead ten years later. Now I'm working with Janine in Pirates. Talk about a full circle. Yeah, crazy. Crazy. So now we're uh, we're on Pirates. Biggest. They say hailed as one of the biggest productions ever in in the adult. Mm -hmm. And I believe it's it's quite the quite it, the. It might honestly be like I'm sure that now there's been movies that have cost more, but I think in comparison to like sure. what the dollar was worth at the time, right. I st and also like I heard that they spent ten million just on the marketing. You know, it's quite possible. I don't know, but what was kind of neat from that was they shot it over an R version. Well, I shouldn't say it. It's edited in R version. Mm -hmm. And one day I'm in Blockbuster. We all remember Blockbuster. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I saw that too. Yeah. And I tried to watch it and it doesn't make any, any sense. Any sense? Because it was the R version, right? They tried to. You take the scenes out because there's like things that happen in the scenes or part and now of the story. Together, you're like, that don't make sense. It made no sense Oh, at that's all. funny. <laughs> but what was cool about it was there I was on a book, on a box cover in Blockbuster, my face. And additionally, like you said, the premiere was in Egyptians Grumman Theater yeah. in 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 Hollywood, <clears throat> and it was literally like a a, a full blown premiere of a movie. Yeah, and there was one of my dreams come true. Yeah. I want to be on the silver screen one day, and sure enough, poof, there we yeah. are in the theater watching. And one of the mistakes I think they made, which is not a mistake, terrible, but mistakes was they ran the full movie. Yeah. So when this came on. Everybody's okay. kind of looking at yeah. each other, like, "Really? Are so, we gonna? Are I we have, gonna sit through this I, scene?" I have brought this up so yeah, many times sure. because I remember being there mm -hmm. and laughing about how I'm sitting in a room with like 500. Yeah, yeah, and, and we're everyone all, got weird when the 
scenes <laughs> came so on. Funny, right? Like everyone was like, he, 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 like it got uncomfortable, yeah, and I was like, which is this is bizarre, strange, right? What I would have done is maybe shorten them. Yeah, in an edit, and yeah. did a little premiere version. But needless to say, yeah, there we were walking down a red carpet and paparazzi's in the hole, and it was just really just an amazing yeah. time. And then I, I, I won for supporting actor, and mm -hmm. so my second year was that was uh, supporting actor, and I won a scene with Brit uh, Brittany Sky. You remember um, Brittany mm, Sky? Yes, yes, I do. And then Michael Nin. Yeah. Yeah. I won two awards. So my first year, I won the male uh, newcomer, second uh, uh, supporting actor in the sex scene with Michael Nin. And then my third year, I won male performer of the year. I had nine nominations, won male performer of the year and all these four other things. So I kind of did really well fast. Yeah. And I was just, it was, it was, it was uh, hard to believe. It was like, wow, wait a minute. What, I, you know, and mm -hmm. all I did really was what Brad said. Yeah. He says, I got, I got. It's, uh, it's, it's advice for you. I said, what's that? I'm, I'm waiting for some like profound advice. You want to do well in this business? I go, yeah. He goes, show up. <laughs> and I go, that's it? He goes, yeah. But strangely enough, to this present day, some people still can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> Tell Is me it about it. Amazing. Tell me about that, it. Yeah. It just blows my mind. Yeah. That people just can't show up and they'll still get hired you know i'll even hear it too from some directors like i know we're going to take a chance on her again yeah and i go i i've had three canceled scenes prior all back to back why are we doing this again yeah well that because she's popular and they sell and i says but aren't you everybody's hoping like they catch that magic one you know <laughs> like that magic moment the, like the up. one where she's gonna show up and then mm. then it'll be a really popular scene but it's a lot of money to like have to cancel yeah, a scene. And everybody like doesn't get paid and, and whatnot. And stuff. Yeah. So the Pirates was great. Pirates won. Pirates 2, Stagnated Revenge, two, three years later came out. And that was even a bigger success. Mm -hmm. And so that's just, it was just, it was, I, I, you, hear, you see, I have a hard time describing how amazing it was. There was those years. And then, you know, one year led to another and another and another. And now here I am. Hello, my amazing listeners. You know how much I love bringing this podcast to your ears every week. So if you're looking a way to support the show and get some fantastic perks, I've got just the thing, my Patreon page. With plans starting at just $5 a month, you can be part of our exclusive community. Your support not only helps to keep this podcast going, but it also unlocks some really cool bonuses. Imagine getting access to the live streams of my interviews as they happen. You'll be right in the middle of the action, seeing all of the unedited moments. But that's not all. As a Patreon member, you'll also get exclusive bonus content. I'm talking extra mini episodes where our guests answer questions submitted by you. Plus, you'll have access to my fine art photography and behind the scenes videos, giving you a sneak peek into my creative process. And guess what? If you opt for a discounted year-long membership, you'll save even more while supporting the show. Longtime subscribers even get free HRU merchandise as a token of my gratitude. So want to join us? Head over to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered and become a part of our growing community. Your support means the world to me. Let's make this podcast even better.